Hello, I'm Dennis Bounds, and welcome to City Stream from Bloodworks Northwest. This organization has served a crucial role for 70 years, distributing life saving blood products to more than 90 hospitals across the Northwest. It collects about 900 units of blood each day, but since the pandemic, donations have dropped off significantly. Pop up locations like this one at the Paramount Theater last year have helped, but it's simply not enough. Much more on the critical need to replenish the blood supply just ahead. And welcome back to City Stream from Bloodworks Northwest. Earlier this year, Seattle City Council member Teresa Mosqueda overcame her fear of needles and gave blood for the very first time. Obviously a little scared of needles. Um, haven't really looked at my blood being drawn at the doctor's office ever. Uh, and so let's step out of our comfort zone, right? Let's make sure that more folks have access to life-saving blood supply that they need. Mosqueda overcame her fear to both draw attention to the severe blood shortage and also to support her close friend, Molly Firth. Molly nearly died after giving birth when she suffered a postpartum hemorrhage. She needed 16 units of blood to survive. Molly's baby is five years old now, and so it's taken me five years to give blood, and it won't take me five more, Molly. I'll make sure to do this with you on a regular basis. Joining us now is Juan Cotto, who's the Director of Governmental Affairs for Bloodworks Northwest. Thanks for being with us. Dennis, thank you very much for being here. We know there is a critical need for blood in the area, but how has the pandemic actually affected your operations? The, the, the pandemic has affected our operations uh, like a lot of companies you're seeing in the area. We are still looking for people to fill our most critical role, which is the blood collection specialist or the phlebotomist position. So because of that, we've had to alter some of the hours of our donor centers, which um, really puts a little bit of a premium on us trying to figure out how we can get people in and, and make sure that we can keep all the appointments. So the, the staffing has certainly been an issue that's led a little bit to some of the challenges that we face, but certainly the community has stepped up and we're seeing folks continue to support us. And that's what we are working to do to make sure that we can, can get uh, the services to provide the community the opportunity to donate blood. Bloodworks Northwest serves over 90 hospitals in the region, but what happens when the blood supply reaches a critically low level? Who's affected? For, for, well, from a, from a business perspective, we are, we are affected a little bit in the fact that we become a, uh, an organization that we've got to go out and find blood to service our, our hospital donors um, and ultimately our patients. The, the hospitals themselves, when we get to certain levels, they have to make determinations on who they can treat at the time. So that's why it makes it just a real critical uh, opportunity for us to get blood and, and to have it for the patients so when there are situations that occur, we can, we can go ahead and service those, those situations. You're getting blood to the hospitals, but it's a pretty difficult task at times. It, at, at times it can be, just simply because of the, the, the situations that we face. But uh, the, the, the critical area is making sure that we have the blood necessary at the time we need it so we can service the, the, the situation. You have a campaign going, music's in our blood. Please explain that. <laughs> We're, we're really excited about the campaign, and, and obviously one of the things we're looking at doing is identifying dem different demographics, and certainly uh, it's a little bit hipper and trendier uh, audience that we're trying to do, but the music in our campaign has, the, the music in our, in our blood campaign has allowed us to um, move into a younger demographic, and at the same time it's been a lot of fun, and you've seen a lot of color and a lot of uh, excitement around it, and we have a, a big promotion coming up with Macklemore, which would be really exciting. So if people go ahead and make a blood donation, they'll be entered into a contest where uh, the person selected will potentially go on a trip to see Macklemore. So we're really excited about how this campaign's worked out. Very good. Where's the trip? The trip is to Mexico. It's a big, a big concert that Macklemore is doing down there. And, and just, just to, to be able to have a local celebrity highlight the, the blood donation, the importance of blood donation is really, really good for us. Your work, though, comes down to the fact that I'm sure you can give us a, a story or two about the services that you provide have been life-saving services for some people. Well, there, there have been a number of stories, and I think that we, we probably, as a community, have all been connected to some of those stories of people who have received blood or platelets or different blood components and the impact that that's had in their lives. So it, that's one of the real exciting things about working with the Mission of Blood Works Northwest. You see the impact that it has on a daily basis. Okay, say I want to donate blood. First step I need to take. Yeah, you can call into the donor centers or you can go on our website at www.bloodworksnorthwest.org and go ahead and make an appointment right there. Please be patient because in certain donor centers, simply because of the staffing, 
We, you may have to wait a few weeks out, but that's okay. Get yourself on the list. Other times you're going to be able to find slots that are open and, uh, and donate. And do another thing. When you finish your donation, make another appointment. Get, get in the habit of making multiple donations. Okay. How long does it take? And I'm asking for a friend. Is it painful? <laughs> <laughs> it is. To, 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 let's just put it this way. Number one, it takes about 45 minutes, depending upon uh, your, your situation that day. If, you, if you're feeling good and you're healthy and you come in and you go through the, 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 the proper paperwork and everything, we can probably get you out here in 45 minutes to an hour. The actual blood donation itself uh, for whole blood it takes about 20 minutes. Um, and the needle goes in, and Dennis, it is painless. You promise. I promise. <laughs> okay. Juan Cotto, who's the uh, Governmental Affairs Director for, for Bloodworks Northwest, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, Dennis. I appreciate your time today. And that wraps up this episode of City Stream from Bloodworks Northwest. Remember, if you'd like to donate blood, go to the website bloodworksnw.org and schedule an appointment.